Okay, let's take it away. It stung me like three, four times. Mm -hmm. Those who have been stung by fire ants have described it as having their limb put in a ring of fire. With just a this black blob that I'm filming here, that's not dirt or mud. It's actually a group of living fire ants. And they're in this shape because their colony has just been moved into the jaw of water, simulating a natural flood. But their ability to survive flood is not the reason why there is an entire lab here at Academia Seneca dedicated to studying them. Today, I'm here to visit Dr. Wong to try to solve this mystery. So, can you explain uh, some of the damages that fire ants have done? Why they're so special that we have to study them? Well, the first one obviously is they're aggressive and they attack you. Most other ants, maybe one ant will climb, two ants will climb, but these guys just love climbing. So once they climb on you, they like to sting you. Okay, now they climb on humans, but they also climb on animals, so like cows and sheep, and so that does a lot of damage. That's a big motivation to, to study these ants and get rid of them. To see the real danger of fire ants, we moved to the end room to see some actual demonstration. Each of these colorful buckets you see here can have thousands of fire ants living inside. they climb out and start attacking. So like in Taiwan, a lot of, a lot of farmers get sting. That's because of when they are uh, walking inside their farm. Right. So in the beginning, on the surface, it, it, it might not be Well, you really see, they, they really, really just climb up. But it's fast enough already. Yeah, it's like two or three seconds. But if you yeah. are like attacking or stepping inside their nest, and they are really nervous and angry, in anger, see how fast it sits. Whoa, okay. That's like less than five seconds will be all over your boots, like or your shoes, right? Yeah. That's crazy. You do not want to step you you do not want to step on one of these things in the wild, for sure. To truly understand just how these ants have caused so much damage, I've decided to let a couple fire ants to sting my arm. Alright, wish me luck. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Let, 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 let's see. It's uh, definitely stingy. Ooh. Okay. It's def Ooh. It definitely stings. It bites and then stings. Okay, it, it, one is okay, but if there's hundreds of these guys just climbing up your legs, they can definitely do some damage. Okay, let's take it away. It stung me like three, four times. Mm -hmm. Those who have been stung by fire ants have described it as having their limb put in a ring of fire. With just a couple sting on my arm, I can already feel the burning sensation. Oh, see here, I'm a little bit red. You see the white part? That's where oh. And then So they stung through the gloves. That's right, yeah. Wow. So we often do crazy. two gloves. Has there in, in, like been actual like, fatalities caused by fire ants? I don't know the answer about Taiwan. Uh -huh. I know in, in historically in the U.S., you know, a few people will die a year. It's kind of like bee sting. You get it's mostly people who are really allergic to um, to insect poison or something. Right. And so, just like a bee sting, you get too much of a shock, and then um, some people um, do. Well, maybe you're allergic to the the sting. That's right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. The swart. Fans have spread across the world, including Taiwan. And this is not only because of their painful stings. They have evolved another incredible power, the ability to survive floods. This ability that when there's lots of water coming, uh -huh. they uh, kind of form this big ball. They bring in all their eggs and all their, all their little babies. They put in the big ball and they're kind of in the middle. And the queen's kind of protected in the middle. So they're really good at this. A lot of other ants, with, like, a lot of water will just drown. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. That is, I would say, a million years of evolution, right? <laughs> yep. In action. Yep. Fire ants originated from the floodplains of South America, and they have evolved a really unique behavior to deal with the floods. When water comes, they will start interlocking their bodies to each other to form a floating device, almost like an emergency lifeboat. And they are able to flow on top of water because when they hold tightly to each other like this, they trap tiny little water bubbles between them, creating many air pockets, as well as help them to float and to breathe.
still red and it's still itchy. And I was stung by maybe a couple of them in a control setting. Imagine if you accidentally step on their ant mounts and 50 of them climb up and sting you at the same time. They can really do some damage. And that's why I want to make this video today to record the progress of the sting to show how serious these animals are. On the second day is when it really gets itchy and one of the stings turned into a posture. It makes you really want to scratch it, but you know you shouldn't. If you see a warning sign put up at the Fire Ant Bureau in the future, really stay away from them. All right, that'll be it for the video for today. Stay wild and stay curious. I'll see you next time. How, how do you guys like collect fire ants? Oh yeah, we go out into the field and then um, we'll... Um, There's we'll, a spider. Yeah, yeah, we keep them around to kind of police our ants. <laughs> oh, oh, so they would catch stray ants. Yeah, yeah. Some of those stray ants would get caught in their nest. So it oh, helps us up. That's, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. So we don't make a strong effort to clean them up. Right. If you didn't know, you, you just go check out my channel. Yeah. Half the videos are on spiders. Got it. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Like tarantulas, jumping yeah. spider. Yeah. They're my favorite.